to me, it feels like people generally know that the Kansas City Chiefs are a, well, they're the best team in the AFC. We all know that. I mean, with what they've done in the offseason. We, we've covered that. But to me, the Kansas City Chiefs are built. They are built to go and win a Super Bowl next year. They are built for a Super Bowl. You talk about Patrick Mahomes. He's the best quarterback in the league. We know that. We don't even have to touch about it. I, I know. I know. The Tom Brady people, oh, what about the Super Bowl? Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Didn't have his best two tackles, and Tom Brady essentially had everybody in a defense that was flying around, okay? And, of course, Patrick Mahomes' offensive line was non-existent, as well as the fact that it just seemed like every receiver couldn't catch anything. So, we'll leave that out of those. However, the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs, are built for a Super Bowl. And I honestly think that Nick Bolton is going to come in a lot faster at that at that will position, probably at whatever linebacker position is, and he's going to dominate. I think he's just going to dominate. I mean, I, I loved him coming out of Mizzou, a guy that had yeah, 100, 100 tackles uh, the year before his, uh, before having 90 tackles uh, in his junior year. 100 tackles as a sophomore, two picks, had a couple of sacks in college. I mean, this guy was just everywhere. Watch his tape, had a pick six his sophomore year as well. Nick Bolton's going to come in right away and just take care of business. But with how the Chiefs are constructed, are constructed, excuse me, construction, I don't know. <laughs> You talk about getting Joe Thune and Orlando Brown, and, uh, you know, and via, well, signing Joe Thune in, uh, in the offseason uh, and free agency and then trading for Orlando Brown Jr. Huge trades. Huge trades. But then you bring in a guy like Austin Blythe who's not getting enough credit. Um, even a guy like Mike Rammers, I still got, as a Vikings fan, uh, I still got some love for the guy. I do. But for me, the addition of Creed Humphrey and Nick Bolton, those guys are just going to come out, and I think those guys are going to be huge reasons as to why, especially Creed Humphrey. I think he could really challenge uh, Austin Bly for the, the starting center position right now. A guy that's 6'5", 312, solid in the run game. I think you could even play him a guard. I mean, just watch how he performed at the Senior Bowl. You could plug in. I think you could legitimately have him compete for that right guard starting spot um, with Tardif. I really think he could. I'm going to take LDT. Laurent. Duvernay Tardif. I think you could have him come in and compete right away. I think he should uh, at least give them a shot. I mean, just to watch how he handled himself at the Senior Bowl. But at the end of the day, uh, this even this is the thing about the Chiefs. They didn't have to go out and get a whole bunch of players, but they ended up getting some ones that I think could either start or contribute right away. Obviously, Nick Bolton, I think, is going to start. Creed Humphrey should compete for that right guard spot. Josh Kando out of Florida State, 6'5", 26, is going to come in and do his thing. Even a guy like Noah Great, of course, he's not going to start again over Travis Kelsey. We know that, but he could contribute. I think he can come in, maybe surprise some people. Don't get me confused, people. He's not going to start. We know that, but I think he could compete. Cornell Powell coming out of Clemson. I mean, Trey Smith. Getting Trey Smith in the sixth round? Are you kidding me? Trey Smith could start today. And I'm really, I honestly, I, for the life of me, I mean, for the, was it the size? I don't care how slow he was in the 40, whatever his, I don't care. He was a former five-star recruit. This guy could come in and start at right guard right away. I, and certainly he's going to come in and compete, especially at those guard spots. I mean, he's not going to be a tackle. We know that. But Trey Smith, I mean, uh, he, he, it should be L, LT, uh, excuse me, LDT, it should be Creed Humphrey and Trey Smith all competing for that, that right guard spot opposite Joe Thune. It should just be a, and Kyle Long, of course, and Andrew Lee, we all know that, but we know, I mean, it should really be about LDT, uh, okay, Blit, uh, Trey Smith and Creed Humphrey. It should really be about those three. Get the best five on the field and you will find yourselves as the Chiefs who are already built for a Super Bowl before adding all this this wonderful mix of players. You, you, I think your, your weakest spot on the line is that right guard spot. Man, you go in and you just, from day one, compete, compete, compete. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't think, and don't hold back a bit. Let these young guys go at it and just <laughs> watch out because the Chiefs are built for a Super Bowl run. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. I greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten. And if you'd like to check us out on social media, we always, uh, social media talk, uh, we've all, we always leave our 
handles down in the description below so if you'd like to check those out as well or if you'd like to leave a like and a, or uh, excuse me a, a comment uh on via our email that is the sports bp at yahoo.com also remember to check out our website at the sports podcast uh the sports podcast.com and give us a listen on itunes we'd greatly appreciate it